You ready for this, man? Check it out. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? Adam Brown Adventures here, walking down under a bridge to do another scuba diving adventure. I'm out here with exploring with Nug. What are we gonna find today, man? Oh, it's gonna be a good day. I'm so hot, it's even hard to make a video. The river looks good, though. It looks great. I mean, it's very clear, very low. Been waiting for this all week. Heck yeah. So we actually came out yesterday and it was really muddy and high. Today it looks perfect. So we're gonna come out here, hopefully find some cool treasures, clean up as much trash as possible, and uh, I think it's gonna be fun. Let's hit it. Oh yeah. Jeremy. Oh gosh, I fell. Man, you look, oh, <laughs> you look like you're trapped down there. It's breaking. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good luck. And I'm supposed to do that? Yeah. All right guys, we just got down to the bridge. This is a lot of history surrounding this area. Definitely this river. Me and Jeremy getting our gear on. Britton and uh, his friend are coming down too. So let's get in that water and have some fun. Oh yeah. Thanks for joining me on another river treasure adventure. It is a beautiful day today, and right off the bat, I find this cool fishing pole. The spear. Nope. And one of the other cool things was this bicycle. You couldn't really see most of it because it was buried, but we do find a lot of bicycles and motorcycles. Also, lots of golf balls. And this was a cool find. This is actually a, ro a notary stamp, and Jeremy has actually found a bunch of these. So I'll keep digging around, and I found some tools, a bunch more golf balls. This is pretty cool. I even found an old typewriter, I believe. I wonder how old this thing is. I even found this old boot. I always wonder how people lose these so easily. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Would you believe it? I found a shotgun. Oh, shotgun! Oh, yeah! Oh! You ready for this, man? Check it out. <laughs> Dude, found a shotgun. That thing, that is old. That is cool, man. It was right up river a little bit. It looked like it had been in the sand for a long time and it came up. Dude, check that out. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, I, I've been telling you I wanted to find a shotgun. That was my next thing. There you go, man. <laughs> I wonder if I can keep that one. <laughs> oh my god, look at the tip. Dude. Oh crap. Wow. Jeez. Like I guess. Oh, that is crazy. I found it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey Brent, I cannot believe I just found this thing, dude. I'm shaking. That is amazing. Man. Like, what is that thing on the end? Is that like I don't a know. That's what it looks like, it looks dude. Like a silencer. That, that's what it looks like. That is super sketch. And look, the the whole uh, the whole butt is like. Yeah. It used to be there. That's amazing. You man. can tell it's been buried for a long time. Holy cow. And so I keep diving around looking for more awesome treasure. I found this old tape measure. And I found some other random trash. And this is really cool. Nobody answered. <laughs> but I kept looking around, I found a little bullet. 
And I found this cool old bottle. And another golf ball. <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure. I thought this was like a knife blade, but I still don't know for sure. This was a little bit of freaky. Some type of animal bone. I decided to leave that there. Take the golf balls. And it got me a set of car keys. Now I just need to find the car. <laughs> and pretty close by was this pistol magazine. As soon as I found this, I got really excited because I found another one right close by. And I was determined to find the gun that it belonged to. So I went crazy searching and searching. Unfortunately, spoiler alert, I didn't find the gun. But I did find this cool laptop computer. So I found this old duffel bag, and in my mind, I thought, this has to be where the pistol is for those magazines that I found. It was so full of dirt, and I was digging around, trying to find what was inside, and I could just not tell. It was so much mud, and I was trying to go through it. But in the end, there was nothing in the bag. <laughs> Still a cool find, though. Check this out, this was a fire extinguisher. This is actually the second one I've ever found in the river. And a nice little fishing weight. I thought this was like a Civil War bullet at first. And gotta have me a boombox. Oh ho yeah. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I think like a fishing weight. It's pretty big though. When I saw this bottle, I thought for sure this was like Civil War. It's the style of one based on how the glass is, but I believe it's modern. And I got the second fishing pole of the day. And I thought this was like a cell phone, but it was just some type of case. I wonder what's inside though. <laughs> And I got half of a horseshoe. I love finding horseshoes. And I got a nice little Bose Bluetooth speaker. I don't think that's waterproof. Now this sucker was heavy. I found this sunken tackle box. It was almost completely buried in the sand, but I pulled it out. And this was kind of hard to see, but it was an anchor. That is a hundred percent a human hand. That is a human hand. Found it, and then I was playing it off like I was nervous. And then I was like, dude, should we take it out? He's like, you do it. He's like, okay. And I took it out, then I just started pulling it out of the bag, and I picked it up, and it was just pouring blood out of it. And he just <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. Then I saw it was all purple. And I'm like, oh. Oh, man. Yeah. I, was, like, I didn't even really see it. I just saw, like, the color come out. And I just. just oh, no. I'm like, yeah, that was oh, It does look pretty realistic. Uh, Alright, guys, we're heading back, but I wanted to open up this tackle box that I found. I don't know what it is. It has a game fisher on it. It's really heavy. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh my god. Dang. Dude, what is that, a cigar? <laughs> oh, it's full of blood. Oh gosh. 
feel like there's a lot of good stuff in here, but how would you ever know? I might try to clean it out. Definitely a lot of weights. That's pretty cool, though. You never know. Sometimes there might be a gun or anything, something else in there. You never know until you open it, but that explains why it was so heavy. Getting that back to the shore was not easy. All right guys, just got done with my dive and it was pretty crazy. I found a bucket list find today and I'm so excited and I just, I, it's so cool. I mean, look at all this stuff guys. Found an old laptop, some old, uh, it was that tab, is that a tab bottle? Tabby tab. Is it? Oh, it looks like it. I also found some like old pottery. I don't know how the age on that, but it looks, looks kind of cool. So I took that out. I did find two, uh, was it 22s? Two magazines. I lost the other one, so there's another magazine out there, man. Yep. Magazine. And there's probably a pistol for you to find too. I found a horseshoe. Nice. It's nice. definitely uh some old horses crossing there. That's cool. I think that yeah, and it's got some type of design on it. If you guys know how old or it's medieval crazy. times totally. Is it Native American? Na yes. It you has found to be. something Native American, didn't you? Oh, I found man, the Native American. You got the ultimate thing. But I ain't showing you got some cool of my bottles. Wash. Clearly though, the bucket list find is a shotgun. This is ridiculous, man. And look at the end on that. That is crazy. Did you tell your people what this thing is? What is that? It is a, it's a notary stamp. Is it? You think about it, they hold it like this and you put the paper in <laughs> and it stamps it. <laughs> it's like, only reason I know that is because uh, we have one at the house. Did you use those when you were young? <laughs> it's, they're still used today. Oh yeah? You're not yeah, that you, old? Get, you get something notarized, they stamp it and stuff. That's exactly what that is. Be really cool to see what the design is. Like if you could somehow try oh, yeah. this. Off. I saw several of those down there. That was oh. the only loose one I could get. But yeah, that's crazy. So a bunch of cool stuff. Obviously, that's the coolest find. It is so old and breaking apart here. The barrel's about to fall off. I'm thinking I'm, I don't. There's no serial numbers, so I'm probably gonna hold on to that. Typically, we try to turn them to the police, but that thing is just so old. They're not gonna be able to do anything with it. So I'm gonna take it home. Maybe try to preserve it, clean it up. Put it on my treasure wall. Guys, I hope you enjoyed coming along in this adventure. I really appreciate it. If you want to help support us more and help support the cause, cleaning up rivers, finding treasure, you can always leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Also subscribe to Exploring with Nug. If you want to see what he found, you can go check out his channel. I'll give you a little hint. You got a little hint? Boom. New Man, oh, new got, grape. it even says it on yours. Yeah, that is. Mine the, didn't have anything. That's one of the holy that. grails right there. So that's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Heck yeah, well you can go over and check out his finds. Also check out, check out Britain's finds. He found some crazy stuff as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see y'all in the next adventure. Oh yeah.